Öyle ya gelin. Hey guys, um, I told you guys before I'm doing um, physio and I'm doing physio with a, a lady called Nita right over there. She's the one that likes hurting me and she gets quite a joy out of me cringing in pain. Now Nita, she does, she plays touch rugby as well and quite professionally at it as well. So she's quite a toughie. She's going to take quite of a knock. Um, Nita's going to explain to you why physio is actually so important when you need it and why should you do it after every ride or what you should do after a ride. Here we go. Yes, Nita. All right. So we are first line medical practitioners. So if you have an injury or you're just concerned about something and say it can be sport or non-sport related, you can come down and we can do a bit of an assessment. So we are conservative approach on treating people with pain or any kind of injury. Uh, and it allows us to actually assess and find exactly the cause of your your pain. So with this guy right here, he came with an actual injury, he came with an intense injury as you guys all know. Um, so we did some assessments, had a look at what are his problems and what we had to try and improve to make him back to normal and also get him back into cycling as quick as possible. Um, so just right now we're doing a lot of rehab uh, and some strengthening and just because he's injured of course that's going to be our main focus but even people that are not injured lots of times they're not focusing on strengthening up the basic components of your core stability um, and as well as just your lower limb stability so um, physio very important especially if you are training every day or you're training a large number uh, of hours uh, is, and if you're going to comp be competing at a high level um, so the one thing I would say is actually get a physio and make sure you build up a good relationship with them uh, make sure they're doing some conservative treatment on you so whether you do every month or every two months you just come in for some massage or just some releasing of those muscles and also allows the physio just to do some niggle get rid of any kind of niggles or any kind of problems and also give you a rear program in case you are missing any kind of major muscle group that needs some strengthening um, and then also it just allows that physio just to be in charge of what you need to improve as a, an athlete so um, we'll just give them some insight into how you can train uh, monitor your training monitor your injuries and make sure that you are able to train for a longer period of time with any catching any kind of niggles and that prevents you from stopping your training program or regime um, so I would definitely suggest going to a physio, having someone that com can communicate with you, that you can actually work with during your training season and even your off season, and they can just monitor and prepare you for that season so it can get you as strong as possible and remain that strong for a long period of time. Oh, that's super. And Nita, is there any place that people can get a hold of you if they need to get a hold of you? Yeah, so I'm currently at the Nikki Ackman Physiotherapy Practice, which you can find on our website. Uh, online and then also I have my own Instagram account which is just nisaacs.physio and you can see me on Instagram. Oh, that's great. I will put all of that in the link below so if you guys want to contact them just link, look at the link below and if you have any comments or questions also uh, put it in the comments below. Speak to you guys later.